Hello and welcome back to That's Us Gaming. My name is Rob and this will be episode 11 of the Borderlands uh, Fresh Playthrough. So, without any further ado, let's get into it. Okay, so here we are where we left, left off, uh, off in the last episode. We have to rescue Roland from the Warden. There he goes. So we will continue our way around now and go and save him. Killing all these loaders on the way around. Right, let's just check. Do you know, I might equip the Hornet here, seeing this is going to be a lot. Yeah, it's going to be a lot of loaders. So we need a corrosive weapon. So I'm going to equip this. Oh, I just realised something. We need to go back and get rid of what we don't want in our inventory. Uh, I'll keep that. I need to get rid of some of this. Uh, I'm not using. I've got too much stuff here. Yeah. That can go, that can go. Um, I'm not using that either, so we'll get rid of that. Okay. Oh, and let's ammo up. Get those nades. Just make sure we're not missing anything in here. Nothing worth worrying about. Right. Let's do it. Yeah, not bad. Actually, do you know what? It's taken care of them quite well, so... Yeah, we will... Uh, we'll continue to use the Hornet for the time being. Let me just check to see what I've got on. I haven't got any other class mods. I was hoping we might have had one that boosts corrosive damage, but never mind. Notice that hasn't got a star next to it. Let's go and do that so I don't get confused. Because it doesn't take much. Okay, so just to let you know, I will be doing soon uh, a... Not so much a top ten, but I will be doing a list of uh, my favourite places in Borderlands 2. As well as the places I don't like in Borderlands 2. I'm going to do kind of half and half, if you will. I'll do five places I love to visit in this game. And five places that I can't stand going to. Uh, so much for that idea. Put in the uh, thing. Oh, we've run out of ammo. I'm sure we'll find some as we play, play through the area. There you go, there's some already. Oh, hello. Right, we're equipping that. Look at that. I mean, that's the beauty of this game. It does kind of sometimes give you those little gems just when you need them. So, Hyperion uh, SMG, which is my favourite SMG. Hyperion SMGs are my favourite by far. But corrosive damage as well. It's ideal. Absolutely ideal. And because we got that class mod on that boosts our SMG damage, it's just destroying them. Look at it, it's just absolutely destroying them. Perfect. To be honest with you, there's only a couple, there's only one or two guns we could have asked for better there. Cool down, wait. Ah, no, that's okay. Let's 
stick with the boosted SMG damage at the moment. So yeah, when this video goes up, I'm not sure. I'm not entirely sure when I'll be doing the, the top. It will be a, a, a top five favorite areas, top, uh, and then top five uh, least favorite areas. Because as much as I love this game, there are bits of there are aspects of this game that uh, that do annoy me. So hopefully you'll be seeing that video soonish. I'll say soonish. <laughs> Right. Now, they send a load our way here, including coming up there will be a badass. But to be perfectly honest with you, with this SMG at the moment, with the damage just whacking out, there's the badass look. And as you can see, give him a phase lock. And there you go, the badass is taken care of. As I said, this gun is pretty much ideal right now. The reason I love Hi um, Hyperion SMGs, as I explained, I have explained before, is their accuracy. They have sustained fire increases accuracy, and as you can see on this, the accuracy is 93.3. So when you fire, it will go up to 93.3 accuracy. It's just incredible. You know, in, in my opinion, far superior... The Hyperion SMGs, you know, the only things that were right close to them are the Bandit ones, TDO, but... For me, it's Hyperion all the way. I mean, just look, look at the accuracy. And the beauty is, you don't even have to fire for that long for it to become incredibly accurate. Right, so a little tip for you guys, there's a vault symbol here, this is the only one in this area. So you get that and you will get caught in the vault. And then if you head up here, it's two nice, lovely ammo crates there. Go and grab some ammo from there. And uh, I forgot, there's a locker here. So we'll open that up. Oh, look at that pistol. Hello, nurse. Beautiful. Beautiful. We're going to take that. That's a really good... Really good pistol, because it's Vladov, which means it's got high fire rate. And the fact that it's, uh, it does shock damage, that's good. We're going to keep that for the time being. That will come in handy at some point. We're not going to pick that up. It's not worth it. It's just going to take up inventory space. So on we go. Trying to get as much ammo as you can on the way. Right, so there's going to be another load of loaders up here. Another load of loaders. Oh, I don't know. There's one over there. Now, hopefully very soon, I'll double check now. Actually, no, I'm saying soon. If I remember correctly, we're quite far off it. Uh, let's just check. Oh, we're miles off it. We're miles off it. But this is the skill we're aiming for. When this, when we activate this, this game is going to become a lot easier. It's going to become a lot more fun to play. So any of you out there that haven't before gone aside, but have thought, you know been tempted to do it by either watching this video or other videos, let me tell you, that's the perk you're aiming for there. If you don't equip that, there's something wrong with you. Because that is one of the most powerful perks in the game. When this game first came out, it was that that perk was a joke because it did so little damage, and then they they amped it. I know it it does incredible amounts of damage. I mean, I can. So what happens with cloud killer? You 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 will kill an enemy, and it will create an acid cloud around them. If someone else walks into that acid cloud, you don't even have to shoot them. It it'll do enough. It'll do enough damage to kill. Them. It just makes you a absolute beast on this game.
I mean, it's really fun if when you've got cloud kill on, if you get a group of enemies bunched together, you basically only have to shoot one of them, and you can kill the entire group. If they're all stood in the radius of the acid cloud, it's good night, Vienna. They don't stand a chance. Alright, I'm just keeping an eye on my SMG ammo here. It is getting a bit low. Oh, nurse class mod. Hello! Okay, so, let me go and point this out here. This is what I mentioned. I think it might have been in the last episode or the episode before that. So, there's only a couple of class mods that I actually use on this game cat class mod. Uh, and the nurse class mod. So we're going to keep this for the time being until we find a better one. So this is always handy. If you get damaged and you don't, there's no health lying around on the ground or you're not near a vendor, you equip this class mod and it will regenerate your health at 2.1 units of health per second. So um, it's, it's not a bad starting off point. But as the game progresses, you will f*** much, you know, it, uh, it, that will increase significantly. Uh, to the point where when you get to Ultimate Vault Hunter mode, it's in the thousands. Because at that point you will have so much health. But then again, the uh, enemies do so much more damage, so you need it. There's a nice little loot box over here that you can check. Shields. Hello. We're going to equip that one. Sad to see that one go, but... You know, you have to you have to move with the times. Right, we're out of ammo on that one. Pick up more now. Yeah, with this game, sometimes you have to equip something you might not necessarily want to. Uh, you know, for instance, that shield I had was a Nova shield, so, you know, what that means is when the shield depletes, it gives out a burst of corrosive damage or fire damage or whatever element that Nova shield is. I would prefer to have that one than the one I've got now, because the one I've got now boosts your uh, melee attack, but, you know. Yeah, the Roy damage. When depleted melee attacks deal bonus roid damage. So, uh, not, uh, yeah. So, I'd prefer to have the other one, but this one's got a higher capacity. So, you know, I have to choose this one because I have to keep my, sh you have to keep the shields up. You know, as you progress through this game, not also do you level up, but the enemies level up. And by the enemies leveling up, it means they, they deal more damage. So, as I said, sometimes you have to equip something that you might not prefer to, but, it, you know, Overall, it makes sense. Well, I'm hoping we get a little bit more SMG ammo before we have to take on. It's a bit better. So, just around this corner now is the warden. So, uh, let's go kill him. Tell you what, before he starts his attack. Yeah, there you go. A little bit more SMG. So. Let's get some grenades in this if no. Not as much damage as I'd like it to be doing. Right, that was not good. Oh, I tell you what, we're going to give it a phase lock. That will help. Get another grenade over there, see if we can take them. Yep, go take them out. I can see a big... There you go, hitting it in the crit spot. See how quickly that went down then? You hit it in the eye, right in the crit spot. Ah, no, you do massive amounts of damage. Right, so they're calling these extra bots now. Right, little tip for you guys. When Roland throws down his turret, hide in it, okay? And you will notice in a second my ammo goes up. Because he regenerates shield and ammo. Uh, not shield, health, sorry. Health and ammo. So there you go, I'm at full ammo now. So every time in this game you see uh, Roland throw down his shield... Uh, not his shield, his turret, sorry. If you've got low health, if you've got low ammo, jump in there, support it. It will boost both of them. Just like it did in the first world lands, if any of you played it. Alright, so now I'm at full ammo. I said I was before I wasn't, I was nowhere near. 
Uh, so there you go. Take care of that lot. What's that up there? Oh, that's a bass mod for a different character, so we'll leave that. I'm not going to worry too much about what's lying on the floor here, guys. You know, when I'm normally playing this just by myself, I'll go around and have a good look, make sure I've got everything. We'll just check this. There's a car boot over here. Or if you're an American, a car trunk. Oh. Right, so there's an E-Tech weapon. If you remember previously in the game when we had to kill Doc Mercy, he gave us an E-Tech gun. There's an E-Tech weapon. You can tell by the distinctive uh, colour. I guess that's like a purpley pink. These are all pistols. I'm really not interested in any of them, guys. I'll leave them there. We'll turn this in. There you go. Nice. nice bit of XP there. Meet me back at Sanctuary. I got so we've got to go back to Sanctuary now to meet Roland. Just check there's no other missions. Uh, the dust. Okay, so there's a mission in the dust, and then there's these undiscovered ones in Sanctuary. We'll be able to collect when we get there. Planet's been waiting for a hero like you. Thank goodness Jack didn't send Wilhelm. No, I'll see you at Sanctuary. Right, here we are back at Sanctuary, guys. And gals, now, I did say in a previous video... Uh, I don't think it was last week, it might have been the week before... I asked for comments about whether, you know, you'd like me to change the format of... How these videos are done if you want to see me skip doing this there are times where i have to come back to sanctuary i have to it's part of the story it can't be skipped but unfortunately we didn't receive any comments you know from anyone saying how they'd like to if, if they wanted the format to change so what we're going to do we're just going to leave it as it is guys you know if it's not broke don't try and fix it so the videos will continue as they have been you'll see me coming back to sanctuary you'll see me doing Little bits here and there, whether I'm checking lockers, you know, for iridium or ammo or health. These lockers here. Ah, perfect. Needed health, there was health in there, so... Yeah, we're going to keep these little bits in there, guys. Okay. I can't pick up any... Uh, extra items at the moment, any weapons, because... I'm full inventory. So what we're going to do... Is I'm going to come here, I'm going to sell what we don't want. I'm going to keep that pistol. I'm going to get rid of the judge. It's a great pistol. But I'm just not using it. It's just taking up space, so we're going to get rid of that. Uh, now I've got this Hyperion Corrosive. Uh, the dial's going to go for a burden, so that can go. Uh, we're not going to use that. Uh... And that can go as well, because again, I've got the Hyperion one. We are not getting rid of that class mod. The nurse one, we're going to keep hold of that. And the shield can go. So, make sure that everything I've got I want to keep. It'll only be a matter of time, guys, before I get rid of that. So, uh, let's have a look. Let's ammo up. Make sure there's nothing in here that we're missing. No, nope. cool. Right, okay, so. As you can see, there's other missions now to be picked up from Sanctuary. As you can see, highlighted by the, you know, the fact that there's um, exclamation marks on the map. So before we end this week's episode, what we're going to do, so we're nice and fresh for next week. We're just going to go and pick up these episodes. Hello. Have you heard of these okay. Uh, we can grab these two as well. So, if there is anything you want me to change about these videos, guys, just let me know. Just in the comments. As I said, just because we didn't get any uh, comments on that one video doesn't mean that if you comment in future, we won't change the format. But unless we hear otherwise, we're just going to keep it as it is. Okay, so, before I turn into Roland, we're going to pick this one. Uh, pick that wow, one up. You are a dumbass. Now that one, I'm not going to pick up just yet because it's a big mission. Total dumbass. We'll save that one for another episode. I'm happy to see you. Ever faked your own death? And Did it a couple years back. yeah, we'll turn this one into Jack is gonna kill us Roland. All you can stop him. 
He means hi. That's well, that's turned into Roland, so the next, right. in the next episode, hi. as you can see there, we'll be going to defeat Ball. We've been trying to stop Jack for years. Taking out his men, raiding his iridium. Let's just make sure what missions we've got. So they're, yeah, they're going to be, Mike Morphin and Train to Catch, they're going to be in a place called Tundra Express. So, uh, that will be what we'll be doing in the next episode. Where we go into feet ball. So that's it, guys. That, we'll call it there for that week. Uh, as always, if you enjoyed the video, please leave a like. Uh, any comments, uh, not comments, sorry, uh, questions or suggestions, please leave a comment. And as always, please feel free to subscribe. And if you do, just go ahead, press that little bell icon, and it'll keep you up to date with all the latest That Is Gaming videos. Once again, my name's Rob. Thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you in the next episode. Goodbye.